Coming up on this edition of Inside the Tribe, you'll get an inside look at the boys golf team and hear from Ms. Nelson about how to check out books from the library. Plus, you'll meet one of our new teachers, Miss Keeney. Inside the Tribe starts right now. Thanks for joining us on this week's edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm JC Dirtle. And I'm Reagan Perry. September Student of the Month is Devin Steinley. Devin is a junior who works for the Student Tech Help Desk. He helped with setting up Chromebook Checkout before school started, worked each, each session of Chromebook Checkout, comes to school to fix broken Chromebooks during his student tech hour, and is always asking what he can do to help next. He goes above and beyond to look for opportunities to serve the school, and we are better because of him. Way to go, Devin. Free lunch and breakfast for all kids between the ages 1 and 18 is now available. Contact Mark Debonis at mdebonis at ep309.org or 694-8330. You can also contact, contact Cassandra Brown at kbrown at ep309.org or 694-8317. If you are interested in doing your part in protecting the environment and the planet, then Hope Club is for you. Anyone can join at any time. We are going to have our first meeting Wednesday, September 16th at 7.30 a.m. on Google Meets. The join code for our Google Classroom is at the bottom of your screen. Join the short meet to find out what Hope Club is all about. Get involved and make a difference. All freshmen through senior boys wanting to play basketball this winter must attend a meeting this Monday the 14th at 3 p.m. in the weight room. If you are out for a fall sport, you are not required to attend this meeting. Please show up in workout gear to the meeting. If you have any questions, please email Coach Gersnich at jgersnich at ep309.org. There are a couple scholarship opportunities available. The TBS Scholarship and the Elks National Foundation Scholarship. Information about both of those scholarships can be found at the links at the bottom of your screen. The 2020 cross country season kicked off for the girls team at Metamora on Saturday, August 29th with a solid performance at the quad duel with Metamora, Washington and Limestone. Freshman Kerrigan Fandle led the team with a third place finish, individual finish with a time of 19 minutes and 56 seconds. The rest of the squad was tightly packed about two minutes behind her. Great job, ladies. The Raider golf team strikes again by sweeping the Limestone Rockets varsity and JV team on September 1st at Quail Meadows. The varsity won 160 to 168 with a personal best medalist performance by Peyton Stewart with a one over par 37. Austin Seeger shot a 38 while Dakota Watson, 42, Justin Rennick, 43, and Nathan Eunice, 43, counted for the varsity squad. The JV squad won 191 to 201 with a stellar performance by junior Griffin Watson shooting a 41, Ashton Masters 48, and Dylan Doubleair and Landon Bavard both shooting 51 for the Raiders. The EP girls swim team had their first meet of the season swimming for the Washington Morton EP swim team on Tuesday, September 1st. EP had three swimmers participate in the meet, freshman Elise Ahrens and sophomores Kara Kaczynski and Chloe Strickler. Kara Kaczynski led the East Peoria girls, scoring eight points for the team. Kara swam two individual events, which were the 200 IM taking second place and the 100 fly where she placed fourth. She also swam as part of the girls 200 medley relay and the 400 freestyle relay, both of which she took second place. Elise Aaron scored five points for the team swimming two individual events, the 200 freestyle where she placed fourth and the 100 fly where she placed third. She also swam as part of the 200 medley relay which took fourth place. Chloe Strickler swam, swam the 100 breaststroke and took eighth place and swam in both the 200 medley and the 200 freestyle relay, both of which took fourth place. The girls swim team had another home meet on Thursday, September 4th against Pontiac High School. The team won with the meet score of 105 to 36. Sophomore Kara Kaczynski placed second in both the 200 individual medley and in the 500 yard freestyle and freshman Elise Ahrens. Elise placed second in both the 500-yard and the 100-yard freestyle. Sophomore Jillian Keller placed fourth in the 100-yard butterfly and also swam the 50 freestyle. Sophomore Chloe Strickler placed ninth in the 100-yard breaststroke while also swimming the 100-yard freestyle. Nice job, ladies. That's all for this week's Raider Report. Before we get into this week's segments, Gavin G-Man Franklin is back to give us a preview of the weather for the next week. 
Well guys, it's rainy and cold out, but next week it will be sunny and it'll be warm. Back to you guys. Coming up, you'll get an inside look at the boys golf team and hear from Ms. Nelson about how to check out books from the library. And you'll meet the new music teacher, Ms. Keeney. Peoria High School. This is Miss Nelson. I am your friendly librarian. I'm currently trapped at home um, and I know some of you are as well and I wanted to let you know that we now have a way for you to check out actual physical books from the EPCHS library. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that and in addition to that we also have a way for you to check out ebooks which I showed you during advisory um, and you can get your password and library ID from me at any time, just email me. And um, if you have any questions or need any help, feel free to reach out. I'm available all the time. Thank you very much. Say bye. Bye. Okay, so we're going to go to ep309.org. And once you're there, the fifth button over where it says library is where you want to click. So click on library. If you scroll down a little bit, you will see Click here to check out books, but you can also see it up on this yellow banner um, where it says <laughs> check out ebook e information. So you can click on Fall 2020, and this is how you can check out ebooks and physical books uh, right now, no matter whether we're in school physically or virtually. So, so physical books, if you want an actual physical book in your hand, you'll go right here to this Google form where it um, says reserving books. You'll click on this and fill this out completely. I don't know all of you, so make sure you put your first and last name. You're going to answer a few um, genre questions, TV shows you like, what do you do for fun. All of that's going to help me find a book for you if you don't know what you want to read. If you do know what you want to read precisely, just put it right here where it says if you know the title and author. Um, once you do that, me and Mrs. Bowles, who works in the library as well, will gather the book for you and we will trot it on down to the main entrance, wherever that might be. So during the asbestos abatement, that is, I believe, door 17, entrance 17. So we will leave it there in a bag with your name on it. You will just simply come whenever you can and grab the bag and take it on home. It'll already be checked out to you. So um, we will leave that there for a week. If you don't come pick it up within a week, then we just assume that you changed your mind. You don't want it. Um, if you don't know what you want to read, like I said, fill that out and I will find something for you, maybe a couple of things, and um, we'll check that out to you. Uh, me and Mrs. Bowles will have the books ready between one and two days. Uh, so books reserved on Thursday will be ready Monday. It'll take some time to gather them, check them out, etc. I will also tell you that once you return a book, we have to quarantine it for seven days. Um, this is for the health department and this study that they did. So be aware of this if you request a popular book because it's probably going to take seven days after it's returned before you can check it out. We have a couple copies of the good ones, um, but for some cases that's just the way it is. Um, so for picking up books during remote learning, they will avail be available for pickup anytime the building's open. So between 7.30 and 3.30 and it'll be on a table inside the front entrance. Um, so after the abatement is over, this will be the normal main entrance and it'll just be on a table there with your name on it so you can grab it. During in-person learning, so when we go back to in-person, the books will be delivered to your teacher's rooms. So it kind of depends on when we get them pulled and checked out to you, but we will simply just deliver them directly to you. Um, uh, we can also leave them in the library and you can pick, up, pick them up then. And just for your sanitary inquiries, uh, we will wear a face mask and sanitize our hands before handling library books. Um, if you're concerned about it, you can wait a minimum of three days before taking the books out of the bag. That's just if you're worried. So uh, we're going to make sure we take care of everything so you are safe and not ill. Um, we also have ebooks and audiobooks, which I talked about earlier. Um, and you can um, click on Access 360 to get those babies. Um, and I can email you your password and your um, library ID to access that. That is through our school, so you can get those whenever you want. They're audiobooks and ebooks. 
And if you have a Fond du Lac District Library card, you can um, check out ebooks and library books that way too. So here's another form to help you pick out an ebook if you're not sure what sounds good to you. Um, and if you have any questions ever, just contact me or Miss Bowles and we'll be glad to help you. Hope this helped. Let me know if you have questions. Why did you decide to join golf this year? Well, freshman year I started and I just didn't have a third third sport to play in the fall and I just decided golf would be it. So how is the golf team doing this season? We started off strong with uh, tied for first place at ISU and then got fourth place out of 15 at Coyote Creek. How has it been being the number one spot this year? It has been, it's been pretty good. We have been having a very good season this year. We are three and one so far. We have played good tournaments, good players. So far being number one has been pretty good. Since my senior year, I've been trying really hard to really push myself forward and play good golf. Awesome, thank you. Hi, I'm Miss Keeney. I am the new choir teacher here at East Peoria High School. I also teach class piano, so if you're interested, you should look me up. Um, as far as teaching, I've been teaching for, what well, this will be my 11th year, and I'm still 29 years old, just, you know. I'm really excited to be at EPCHS this year. I heard what an incredible school it was. Um, I did talk to Miss Church last year, and she just raved about you, and I had to come and be part of this team. A little bit about me, um, I went to college, I got a full scholarship on oboe, and I didn't want anything to do with band, but it was my thing then. I'm always outdoors, you can find me anytime on a hiking trail, and so oh, another one, I, you'll always find me in the kitchen just when I'm stress cooking, so if you like baked goods, yeah, I bake a lot. That's not all, but that's all we have time for today. For the full set of announcements, go to the school's website at ep309.org. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at inside underscore the tribe. That's all for this week. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Regan Perry. And I'm JC Dodo. And from everyone here at Inside the Tribe, have, have a, a great Raider, Raider Day. day.